Hey, what's going on guys, and thank you for joining us for another Neo Boss Guide video. Uh, today we're going to be doing a bit of a speed hill guide, but more also in depth for uh, the giant toad on the Iga escape mission. Now, um, this is actually my second attempt, and I pretty much just demolished this boss, as you'll see. Um, as always, per use, I've been using the uh, ball and chain weapon with the uh, fire buff and also the ninjutsu uh, talent skill tree for the power pill. I also really recommend using the, um, I think it's the Omni Magic Slow Talisman. Um, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but you know, it usually lasts about 15 seconds. And um, I didn't get to use it in this attempt, which you're seeing now. I do believe, though, I used it in my second encounter with this boss, which is on a submission. Um, I do highly recommend picking this skill up, as it's uh, effective very much on pretty much all the bosses. So, highly, highly, highly recommend it. Again, so this is kind of a speed kill guide, but also um, a more in-depth, detailed guide. I thought that this boss was actually kind of harder than your average boss in... Neo, so I wanted to do a more in-depth guide, but as you can see, um, as we approach the uh, two-minute mark, it actually only took me a minute and a half to kill this boss, uh, so it's it's a fairly simple fight, but um, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the more details uh, for this fight, that way, hopefully, he will become Cakewalk for you. Alright, so let's go ahead and get down into it. Um, first off, we'll start by saying um, this boss is primarily a ranged boss. While he does have a few closer ranged abilities, the majority of his attacks are going to come strictly from uh, ranged. So the idea for this boss is to basically stick to his back as best as possible and watch out. So as you can see here, I'm going to open up with the slowing talisman from the Omni Magic Tree. I have my weapon buffed with fire magic and also a ninjutsu um, power pill. I also highly recommend that you use the sacred water. That way you have your stamina buffed and um, that way you know you get in a couple more hits which if you're hitting his back will count as crits, therefore you're dealing more damage. So first off, you see the boss has a bit of a grapple. Um, basically, he'll whip his tongue at you, he'll uh, swallow you, and then you'll take damage while you're inside of his stomach. The next there is his lunge. That can be blocked, but I recommend just rolling out of the way. Uh, this attack is actually an attack that's taken from the Jitsu skill tree where he'll throw kunai at you, and then uh, you'll take a brief, brief stun for about a second, and then after that following you'll take a... Um, subsequent fire damage from the explosion. Uh, the next big attack to worry about is this one here, um, the yokai pools. The boss will spit out three yokai balls um, depending on what his health gauge is at and you know that can be cleansed but it's not something necessarily to worry about. Uh, I do also recommend if you get a couple hits on his back make sure that you immediately roll back as you saw he has a leap attack. And now for something special I hope you guys enjoy this next clip. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Alright, so getting back to the guide, um, another ability that you really want to look out for is the boss's paralysis clouds. On occasion, he'll spit three clouds in front of him, kind of in a cone formation, and uh, the easiest way to deal with this is just preset with your uh, hotbar to either take the ninjutsu skill tree point for um, the anti-paralysis effect, or you can also use the uh, uncommon um, anti-paralysis needles. Uh, I forget what they're called, I think it's like antiseptic or something of the sort. Uh, so that's another thing that you really want to look out for. Again here, uh, like I was talking about earlier, you'll see that he has that grapple effect. Um, and then he follows it up again with another one of those ooey orbs uh, that puts the yokai realm on the ground. There's that shuriken thing from ninjutsu, and again with his leap. Uh, the other attack that I really want to say uh, you, you don't want to be caught off guard by is his 
ability to lunge at you, which is extremely far. Um, it's it's ridiculous on how far he'll actually go. So you can block this attack, but I recommend uh, rolling into it actually, because usually the boss will glide over you. So just try to roll to his left or right facing shoulder. And that wraps it up for this video, guys. As always, uh, if you found the content useful, you know, please do feel free to leave me a like and uh, hit the little sauce at the end. That way you can stay up to date with my latest videos. And um, until next time, thanks for watching, guys, and stay saucy.